this initiative will help us to understand what the challenges are, what are the challenges faced in, in the NGO community, the registered NGOs that, are, that, that have not been in good standing, what, what are the problems, what and how can we help. Um, we, we know that there are at least 150 registered NGOs growing by the month. And, um, and even though at the end of last year we had 59 NGOs in good standing, about a dozen of those were newly registered NGOs. So our NGOs that have been around for a while are facing challenges. And it will, it, it, it will take resources and time to reach out not only to the registered NGOs, but the larger civil society to understand what the situation is. Um, so um, as part of our strategic direction, one of our two major goals is to be the unified voice for NGOs and uh, an objective within that is for all registered NGOs to be in compliance with the NGO Act. We, 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 um, we have recognized that as NGOs, if we are to play an advocacy, an effective advocacy role, um, and call government to task every now and again, we need to be as beyond reproach as possible ourselves. We need to set the example. The project, um, which will be supported via this currency funded initiative, seeks to do a number of specific things. Um, one is to lead the facilitation of a national forum for NGOs, including the ones that are not registered um, and identified in consultation with BAP, to discuss and build consensus and incre to increase, see how we can increase the number of registered NGOs in good standing. Uh, we also want to put together a comprehensive database of NGOs and CSOs, good standing, registered, not registered to have a good sense of the NGO landscape and use that platform to encourage the registration of civil society organizations.